Hey and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be looking at control group in SwiftUI. Control group is a new view that is specific to only iOS 15 and above. This new control allows us to easily group UI and then let the system style them appropriately. Let's look at how we can use control group to build ourselves some UI that allows us to increase the quantity of an item. So we can easily see all the different versions of our control view. What I'm going to do is just add in a scroll view and a V stack. So now let's create an extension that we'll use for organizing our buttons on the screen. We'll use labels within our buttons and this will become a lot clearer once we actually start to apply control group styles. So let's do that now. So what we've got here is we've got a private extension on our content view and we've just got an increase button and a decrease button. And within our button actions, we're not actually going to be doing anything for this video. But for our label, we're just using labels which have SF symbols and some text. If you want to learn more about labels, you want to check out my video labels in SwiftUI. So now what we want to do is use our buttons within our control group. So let's do that now. So notice how we have a control group here with our two buttons and the style of them also. You'll also notice that we're not actually seeing the text as well that we specified for our labels. We're only seeing the SF symbols. And this is because by default, the style of our control group is set to automatic. So if we want to see our whole label being rendered out, then what we need to do is actually give our control group a style of navigation. So let's actually do this now. So what we're going to do is actually copy our VStack here just paste it down below and then on our control group we're going to give it a style of navigation so you can see here the difference between the two we almost get like this stepper style here when we're working with the um, control group automatic style but when we change it to navigation we get the system buttons and we also get it rendering it out here so you get two different styles depending on which one it is that you want to use. But what we could also do as well is we could actually go one step further and actually create our own control group style where we actually control how it gets rendered on the screen. So what we're going to do is create a control group style where we have a label at the top here for our quantity rather than this text here and we have our buttons within it. So let's create a new file and this time we're going to call it control group plus quantity style. And in order to actually access the and make our own custom style, we need to use the control group style protocol. So let's let's type this out and break it down. So once we use the control group control group style protocol on our struct, what we then need to do is you're able to see that on the on the configuration, you're able to access the content within your control group. What we're going to do now is actually add in some controls and then add in some styles and then break it down. So what we've got here is we've got a V stack and we're saying that we want the alignment of it to be leading so to the left hand side and then within it we've got our label and we're going to use the system image bag and then we're going to give it a font where we set it to the body size and set the weight of it to bold and then within our control groups and then we're going to add in a H stack which is what we're going to use for our content. So this H stack is what's going to hold our buttons. So because we added in a H stack, it's going to lay out our buttons horizontally like so. So let's actually just go back to our content view. And then this time, rather than having a V stack where we're adding in a text and a control group, we're just going to copy our control group like so and then paste it here. For our group style, we're able to specify that modifier like so and then now when you run it you should notice that you actually see your quantity here so just to add a bit more space between each one of these I'm just going to add some spacing and we should be able to see it more clearly. Now, this is all good and well, but what we could do is we could actually copy what we have here with a dot notation, and we can actually create an extension on our control groups. Let's do that now. So what, we, what we're creating here is a con extension with a constraint. So we're saying here that on the group style protocol, where it is quantity style, we want to create this static property that creates this modifier. So we're able to access it by using the dot notation. So now if we go back to our content view, rather than us doing it like this, we're able to delete this and write dot, and you should see the option for quantity like so. And that gives us the same style that we had before, which is exactly what we want. 
So just to show you how it affects the layout of these buttons within our group style. So just to go back into our style, if we wanted to, if we actually took this out of the H stack, you'll notice that by default, our content is actually vertically aligned. But what we want is we want it to actually be horizontally aligned like so. So let's actually just remove this comments and we'll just put it back inside of a H stack like so. So we get this style. Okay, cool. So that was everything in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then I really appreciate it if you left a comment in the comment section below. Also as well, if you haven't already, I really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates for whenever I release a new video. That's everything from me. I'll catch you on a bit. Deuces.